This is Naltzer, and we are in the Z52, or Z52, tier 10 German Destroyer, my personal tier 10. It has premium, and I've invested my skills pretty much exactly as you would expect any German Destroyer at this point. Faster torpedo rearm, faster torpedoes. I did get basic firing training in Superintendent. I am I'm considering dropping basic firing training and getting survivability. I need to discuss this with you guys. I, I, I honestly, I want to say, I don't see a reason why you would get a level four skill over a level three plus a level one or a, you know, two level twos. Level four skills feel very underwhelming as the meta has developed, as the game has matured. They just don't give enough. But yeah, the, the, the typical German build. You accelerate those torpedoes, you've got about two kilometer range of wiggle room between your concealment and the torpedo range. It feels very comfortable using it. What's the difference between the Z46 and the Z52? Not a lot. It's a, it's a bigger ship, more healthy, you know, more capable torpedoes. The normal improvements that you would expect, it does have the old hydroacoustic, the German hydroacoustic. So I have a range of 5.88 kilometers of detection, and I'm going to aggressively push in. The Hubbardovsk was visible for half a second. He's trying to capture him. The enemy destroyer, Yugamo, is also spotted. So I'm going to push forward, detect them. Once they're detected, and I obviously dodge the torpedoes, I'm going to pop my smoke and hide in my smoke while Hydroacoustic Blanket detects them. This is extremely dangerous and probably not recommended. However... The reward is extremely high. Getting two destroyers out of the fight is a huge deal. And yes, this is North America. I know we have a lot of destroyers. Look at it. It's five battleships, five destroyers, one cruiser per second. <laughs> it's a nightmare for that one cruiser. He's, he's going to die very quickly if he's not careful. But we take out the Japanese and now onto the Soviet. And for whatever reason, the Soviet's like... La 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 la, no problem here, nothing bad's happening, I'll just put my head in the sand, la la la, so he stays completely stationary. And now he's showing his broadside, so switch to AP. German AP is extremely effective, actually. If you can hit your shots, then we should do a pretty good job against this guy. Obviously, he's angled away, so we're going to switch back to HE. He sent torpedoes, use hydroacoustic, double up on that. I don't want to allow it to hit me, so I'm going to move forward enough that the torpedoes bypass me on the left and the right side. But the enemy Hubrovsk played it completely incorrectly. This is why you don't use smoke. This is why you're not a stationary target. You are much more effective at range. But I am not sorry. Hopefully, any player that died to me can learn from their mistakes and improve. And I did take a lot of health damage. And this is why I'm considering picking up survivability. I'm just a crazy player. I'm not a normal player. If I see a chance to get two kills, I'll basically risk everything to get those two kills, especially if they're destroyers. And if I had the health, it would be much easier to justify that. I think. 3,500 more hit points? That would be nice. I would be at 10,000 instead of 6,700. And I don't know that I gained a lot from my rate of fire. You know, 0.4 seconds. It adds up, but is it really as important as having more health? That's the that's the struggle here. And, uh, well, you know, what, what do you think? Enemy Gorosokua first, moving forward. I want to, I want to discourage this. My friend needs my help. We're going to send our torpedoes. We don't have our smoke yet. And this enemy Shimakaze decided to move forward. Since I am committed, I must try and engage him. And we're going to try and kill him. And we're going to just use our guns as effectively as we can. Hoping that the enemy will just chill out for a second. I bet you the Shimakaze is going to send his torpedoes because he hasn't fired his guns. Of course, he could just be traversing still. That is a possibility because the Shima is that bad. And we do hit some of our torpedoes. Unfortunately, our friendly is dead. Gone. Gone forever. And I'm going to try and wait until my gun bloom 
returns back to normal, and then I'm gonna leave the smoke. That's the only reason I use my smoke, in order to give me a chance to retreat. Of course, yep, here come the torpedoes, big, big deal. Enemy Shimakaze they seem to be burning a little bit. And I'm gonna try and keep the smoke in between my ship and the Shima until I'm outside of the base detection of the ship. Thankfully, the Lexington assists me there. And the Shima's dead. Now, I do feel like there is more than just this Grosso Kua first coming after me. In fact, I feel like the torpedo bomber's coming and the Kiev. So, I'm trying to book it, baby. Get the hell out of Dodge. And yep, I, you can feel this torpedo, can't you? You just feel it on my left side. I feel like he's going to drop me, so I immediately turn as soon as I can to try and dodge the drop, and here it comes, yep. We predicted it perfectly, and we've got this convenient island. Tuck that butt in, yep, the butt's tucked in. This convenient island that's gonna block the enemies. And we're safe, <laughs> at least for now. Oh, man. I love the German destroyer line. It is so fun to have such quick torpedo rearm. You're never encouraged to disengage for that long. You always want to stay near the front so you can send your torpedoes again. I really like that. Plus, hydroacoustic is a great tool to protect yourself whenever you're using your smoke. I just... You know, it's funny. I was talking mad crap about these things initially because it was a huge nerf. You know, taking three or four kilometer range on your bloom and, you know, guns completely irrelevant outside of smoke because you're just risking your ship to everyone. But once you adopt this very disciplined, very disciplined playstyle, and I do mean discipline, you've got, you, you got, you fire your gun, you want to fire your gun, don't fire your gun, you don't have smoke, don't fire your gun, it's not worth it, not sir, don't fire. And it, it, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to fire my gun. Just gonna chill with Torpedo Scent. The Minotaur, where I sent them, he's gonna dodge out of the way, probably. Just the way it works out. It's all right. The torpedoes are gonna be back up in 40 seconds. I'm cool with it. And just, woo, Montana, baby, took that guy out. 100 to zero. Cruisers are really fun to play, guys. I really like dying in one salvo. <laughs> yeah. And this is another thing, obviously, there's no one else but the Kiev, and I don't want the Shima to die. I will risk the ship in order to help the Shima win. And I is he is he Soviet? He's got like is he did he did he take last stand? For whatever reason, he's stationary. I don't I don't understand. Oh really? Oh really, Yamato? Yamato, you, you fired at me. Good. Teammates killed him. Yamato fired at me. So, torpedoes. Torpedoes are back up. Smoke's back up. He is not within smoke range, though. But I don't want to risk the ship anymore. He he seems to be committed. Kill the German. We do lose the Shimakaze, but we do get the Kiev for it. That's how you need to address Soviet destroyers, by the way. You have to bully them. You have to gang up on them. Two versus one, three versus one. They still have a chance to kill you all. But at least they don't have a guaranteed win as they would in a one versus one. So AP on a broadside target, that's German 101. It does great damage. Unfortunately, as he angles, we cannot do any more damage and we should switch back to HE. There's nothing new about that. I'm not breaking any rules. I'm not shattering any expectations. Sorry, that's not this video. I'm just trying to command this side of the ground. There is a oh, ground. We are in the ocean, not sir. There is a potential Grozo Voy out on the western flank. His last known position is very far away, but I haven't seen him for a long time. So it's very risky. We're going to have to be cautious with our capture of A-Point. And my smoke is about to dissipate. The smoke timer is also very helpful for the Germans. It allows you to be aggressive and... Of course, the worst possible position for him, right in front of me, I am going to turn tail and run. I don't want anything to do with this guy. They just took out the Fletcher that was near me, so let's get out of here. Get the hell out of here! 
but my torpedoes are back up, so I'm gonna hit, send them forward to the Grozovoi, and try and survive. Dodge out of the way! Drive directly away from the Grozovoi. Whatever you do, drive directly away. <laughs> Don't fire the gun. And we are outside of his, of my ship detection. And it looks like we could potentially get a torpedo strike on him. Uh, he's a crafty one. He is a crafty one. But I, I really don't want to fire my gun. It's just too risky. This is exactly how you're supposed to play it. Don't feel bad if you're like, oh, I can't, I can't help my team. You're detecting this guy. You're allowing your teammates to do what they need to do. They've won the flank. So just do what you have within your power. You've already contributed to the death of a couple destroyers. Don't go out of your way to kill yourself. Sure, we could get more damage, but we survived and we assisted our team. Three kills, first blood, 78,000 done, base capture, base defense. It's a quality German game. Could we have done better? I don't know. This game felt like I was overextended and then I had to compensate for that overextension. However, taking almost 50% of the destroyer fleet off of the map in the first two minutes is a big deal. We earned 2,048 base XP. I love my German destroyers. They are so fun to play. They really are. It's, it's just a rewarding experience. Very, very, very hybrid damage. Very everywhere. And that's the Germans in a nutshell. 1.3 was fired at us. 1.3 million. 39,000 main battery. 31,000 in torpedoes. And 7,000 in dots. A very, you know, very typical game. Very much exactly what you're looking to do. And the primary targets that we're looking to take out destroyers and that's what we did we contributed to the destroyer destruction i hope it was cool to see the z52 i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll catch you next time